What's up guys, we're back with another insane opening. Today we're opening all six 2004 Collector 10s. We have the Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight, the Command Knight, the Blade Knight. This is one of the coolest ones, gotta love that guy. Oh, this is a fan favorite. Insect Queen. I mean, that's a classic. I love that green. It just looks so good. The Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. I think he's a little bit underrated, but people like this one. It's pretty cool. It's like the uh, the upgrade, the retrain to, Obnox to Celtic Guardian. And finally, probably the least exciting promo. We've got the, uh, what is this? Great Shogun or something? Great Shogun. Not Shein. I think it's just Great Shogun or something. Total Defense Shogun. That's what it is. There we go. So we have that. The exciting part about these tins, compared to like 2005, check out the packs we can get. Magician's Force Invasion of Chaos. Is today the day we pull the Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the beginning? It's going to be a crazy opening, guys. All six tins in this video. We've opened 2002, 2003, and 2005. Go check those videos out. They were awesome. You've probably already seen them. They're some of my best videos. And we have a giveaway. Today we're doing a sealed product giveaway. 15 ghosts from the past packs all you have to do like the video be subscribed and let me know what you think about the tins what's your favorite poll what's your favorite tin from 2004 anything like that and you'll get a chance to win that potential dark magician ghost rare in one of these packs for viewing purposes i'm going to keep them stacked up like this because putting them behind is a lot of reflection it doesn't look great so we're going to start off with the first one this is the Total Defense Shogun, or whatever I decided his name was. So it looks like everything is recording. You got to triple check on these big videos after uh, you guys remember what happened in the Every Pack opening. So here we go. Let's break this guy open. The first of the 2004 tins. Here we go. Invasion of Chaos and Magician's Force. Could be some big pulls today. Hopefully our promos are going to be minty. Because you guys know the problem with the opening these tins. Occasionally the promos are not in great shape. Okay, they did implement, I think this is the first year they implemented this plastic around the promo, which definitely will help. They've got these little notches, so you gotta be kinda careful here. Okay, here we go. Total Defense Shogun, it's been in the plastic since 2004, 17 years. This looks, it looks a little warped, but that's about it. A near mint promo, check that out. Centering looks pretty decent. We might grade these whenever, you know, PSA opens up a service that is not $200 per card. We'll probably send these in. So that's a pretty good one. A good start on our promos. Looks pretty nice. All right, time to get out the packs. A lot of classic packs in here. So let's close up this tin real quick. This was also the first year that they used the windows. I want to mention that where the window where you could see the card. Also, there is a variation of these tins, just 2004, where they are not secret rare promos. They're actually super rare. So they have the secret rare name, I believe, and it's a super rare foiling there's no like lines like the secret rare so those are actually worth quite a bit these are just the regular secret rare versions though but it's pretty cool if you actually have some of those we're gonna have 30 packs in this video it's probably gonna be a longer video because we got to open up the tins check out all the promos all that stuff so go ahead and put your guesses down below how many foils will be pulled in this video you never know when we opened 2003 how many did we pull like two or three total it was insanely low i think we only pulled like two foils but we pulled the blue eyes which was crazy and then in 2002 we pulled like nine or something so 2003 was awful but 2002 was a lot better so let's get into these Let's see what we can pull. We have 2004 booster packs. So we got the red logo on there now. Not quite original anymore. The original was um, changed in 2003 in terms of the logo. First pack, we have Ancient Sanctuary. Best pulls out of here, we're looking for the uh, Dark Magic Attack, the Burst Dream of Destruction, Enemy Control. The enemy Control would be really cool. All right, we've got a kick, man. Nubian Guard. Kozaki and... Special Hurricanes, right off the bat, a rare. Okay, Mystical Shine Ball, Fiend Scorpion. So we are starting 0 for 1. We've got a long time to go. Let's save Inv Invasion of Chaos and MFC have to be last every time. I mean, that's just how that is. Let's go with Pharaonic Guardian. The seventh set in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is the oldest set out of this 10. It actually went uh, Pharaonic Guardian, Magician's Force, Dark Crisis, um, I IOC, and AST. That's the order. So it started with Pharaonic Guardian. Here we go, Arsenal Bug. We got a Royal Tribute. Des Lacuda. Gravekeeper's Assailant. And a Moisture Creature. This guy's a classic. He's a classic for sure. Bottomless Shifting Sand and the Dark Dust Spirit. Pretty nice. All right, next up we got Dark Crisis. DCR. 
Pretty good stuff here. We've got the Arsenal Robber. Can we pull the Shinado Exodia Neck Ross? I mean, there's a lot of great stuff in here. Fairy of the Spring. DD Trainer from the old Duel Links. And a different dimension gate. We are starting slow. Look, guys, these tins. You guys know how they go. You either get a lot or you get nothing. That's just how it goes. Which one should we go with first? Okay, we haven't pulled BLS. Let's go with Magician's Force. We never pulled Dark Magician Girl either. I don't know if this is a retail pack or not. If it's retail, we won't even be able to pull Dark Magician Girl, but I don't know. So I'm not even going to look because that would kill the suspense if, if I know that I, we can't pull it. So we're just going to hope that we can. Watch, it'll just it'll just pop up and we'll be super hyped. we got the Animazonis Blowpiper. Gather your mind. You don't get to open MFC every day, so this is pretty awesome. Pigeon Holding Book of Spells. Thunder of Ruler. And... Combination attack. That's a rare mass driver. That's banned, isn't it? Poison of the old man. Oh, and the, the Aitsu. That's a classic card. A classic Aitsu. Gotta love that. And the final pack of the first 10. We have Invasion of Chaos. Here we go. Can we pull the Blackluster Soldier? Envoy of the Beginning. Has never been pulled on the channel. We are 0 for 4 so far. Can we get a foil? We have the Grand Maju de Aiza. Tower of Babel, Fenrir, Crimson Ninja, and Enraged Battle Ox. I thought that was something. Stealth Bird, the thing in the creator, and Energy Drain. So the first 10 was not great for us. Let's go into the second one. We've got the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian 10. So we're going to open this one up. All six 10s in one video. Pretty exciting. It's always fun to do these. It's really fun to do these. It's like serious. Like back in the day, you guys know how this was. You went to the you went to the store, you saw all the new tins, and you're like, all right, I want all of them. And then your mom's like, either no, you can't have any of them, or she was like, all right, you get one. You get one for whatever. Well, in this case, we get all of them. We get all six. Let's go. Let's see if our promos are gonna be nice. Oh, this would be a sweet promo to have. Okay, let's get it out. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. All right, we have a secret rare. Check that out. The condition looks pretty awesome on this guy. Okay, okay. A little, there's a little scuffing right there, but overall, pretty good condition. If I don't grade these, they're just going to go in my binder somewhere with my other ones. My, my 2002s, my 2003s, all that stuff. We're going to have all the, all the promos. And then we got our five booster packs right here. Let's get these out. Let's get the 10 out of the way. We are into the next set of five. So let's get it back in our order. So our order is looking like this. I think this is how we're doing it. This is our second 10. We are 0 for 5, but both promos have been in great condition. That reminds me of the 2005 10s. We actually had fantastic condition promos. Those are at PSA, so hopefully they will come back and, you know, not get 8s. That would be great. Um, I think... By the time you guys see this, we should hopefully have gotten another PSA return and maybe that redeemed us from that, you know, 481, but let's see. Metal Armored Bug, that is such a classic. I mean, that guy's a, he's a house. Solar Ray. Goblin King. Mystic Walk. And a double costin. So if you tribute for a dark monster, you can treat this two tributes on, or two tributes. Oh, that's fantastic. Just what we're looking for, two tributes. On to the next one. Pharaonic Guardian, the oldest one in these tins, as we've mentioned already. Okay, the ratios, you know, you guys know the ratios. One out of, what is it, five for a super rare? Or is one out of six for a super rare? One out of 12 for a ultra rare. So pretty tough. Secret rares are usually one in like two boxes, like one out of 48. So we got a Trap Dust Shoot. That's a great pull. That's like a $3 card. That's our first good pull so far. Gravekeeper's Curse. We got a Banner of Courage. I mean, everybody used this like early, in the early days. You got you could uh, increase by 200. Curse of Aging. Ooh, and a Reaper on the Nightmare. Oh, and a Metamorphosis. What a what a goat format pack. That is loaded. That's like a twenty dollar pack right there at least. Because Metamorphosis, I know first edition is like fifteen dollars. So I bet the Unlimited is probably like ten dollars. So we've got ourselves a Reaper on the Nightmare. Our first foil of the opening. Actually, a pretty decent goat card. So this is going to be worth a few dollars. Then you got yourself the Metamorphosis, which is a short print out of Pharaonic Guardian. So that's a good one. And the Trap Dust Shoot, which is a great card in GOAT format as well. I mean, just a great card in general. 
that's a that's a heck of a pack. That's a really good pack. Yeah, this is these these packs are much better for potential value than the 2005. In 2005, they had like the Dark Beginning and they had like Ultimate Rares like Soul the Duelist and stuff. So a lot of that was junk. There was not a lot of good stuff in there. So we have a lot better potential in terms of like commons and rares out of these sets that can actually have a few dollar value. Obviously, we're not making our money back on these. I think I spent around $2,500 for the set. So we're just, you know, getting a couple of dollars back in, here and there. So we got our Archfiend's Roar. Shadow Knight Archfiend. We got a Keldo. Pandemonium. And Great Maju Garzette. All right. Okay, we got the rare. Drag down. And final countdown. There's another good common. So we are pulling a ton of good commons right now. Very good. That's, a, that's like a $3 common right now. We are down to the last two. Magician's Force. If there was like a Dark Magician girl in one of these guys, it might be like the craziest opening ever. It would be crazy. Can you guys imagine that? Okay. The Sonic Duck. Frontline base. Physical double. The Decayed Commander. And can we get our second foil? Combination attack. Both MFC have had combination attack. My body is actually probably a decent common. I'm going to pull that out. Miracle Restoring and Meteor Rain. So we're on to the final pack of the second 10. Obnoxious Kelty Guardian. It's been better than, to us than the Great Shogun or whatever his name is. The <laughs> I forgot again. Uh, Total Defense Shogun. Sorry. Great Shogun Chien is a different card. Invasion of Chaos. Black Luster Soldier. You guys have heard it hundreds of times. We've never pulled it on the channel. So let's do it. We have a Neo Bug. We have a Salvage. Sylphide. Fiend's Hand Mirror. And this could be it. This could be the time. Dark Magician of Chaos. Original Invasion of Chaos print. Oh! No way. This is not a reprint, guys. 2004. The original Dark Magician of Chaos. The Demock. Whoa, that's one of the best pulls we can possibly get out of these. And a great condition one too. Maybe even worth grading this guy. He might be a little, is he a little off center? Or maybe a little bit of whitening up, up on the top as well. This would definitely not get a 10, I think, these days. But it's in great condition, like mint condition. That might be a binder copy. Pulled in the video. Huge pulls when you open all these 10s. Let's go. Other than, you know, 2003 when we only put, well, we had one huge pull, so I can't complain. All right, all right, this video's heating up now. Let's go, we've got four more tins. We've already got Dark Magician of Chaos. Will we pull the big three in one video? Probably not, but let's see. Next up, we're gonna go with maybe the number one fan favorite out of the entire set. We have a 2004 Inset Queen tin. This one, I mean, everybody likes Inset Queen, it feels like. I don't know why, because, we, I mean, a lot of people didn't like Weevil, I think, but it's something about the Inset Queen. It's just really, really cool. It's just a really cool monster. I don't know why I'm opening them like this, but for some reason it feels like the right way to do it. I love the green on this. I've always been a big green fan, so this just really fits well. All right, Insect Queen. Hopefully this is a nice minty promo. I think I submitted one of these. It was super minty. Oh, wow. Does that not look amazing, guys? The green background is incredible. Okay, there's a tiny bit of scuffing in the middle, but overall definitely a near mint card, which is all I can really ask for. It doesn't even have to be gradable anymore. Just be near mint. That's all I want. Very nice. Insect Queen. This is a... Man, this is a great video so far. I'm so happy about this. All right, let's remove the packs, get rid of the tin, and we'll move into our third tin opening. Insect Queen. So, so far, in the battle of the tins, it looks like Obnoxious Celtic Guardian is winning. You guys should let me know which tin you think was the best based on the promo, you know, which promo you like the most based on the condition of that promo, what we pulled from it. I think right now we can say that the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian is winning for sure because the other one had zero uh, pulls as well as not the most, you know, the most liked promo. So I'd say for sure Obnoxious Celtic Guardian is ahead. Now the Insect Queen, that had a, it had a nice promo. So now it's to see, can the pulls live up? Can they, uh, can they be as good? It's going to be really hard to top a Demont. The cards that I think could top it. Either we'd have to pull like four out of five uh, foils or something crazy like that. 
or we pull like DMG, we pull BLS, we pull CED, you know, some crazy secret rare or something like that. Let's get an ASD. I don't know if ASD itself can even beat it. It would probably have to be combined with something else. You got an absorbing kit from the sky. That's cool. Goblin Thief and Soul Absorbing Bone Tower, I think is actually a decent rare. I think for a while this was like a $7 rare. I think it's come down to like maybe a couple dollars. But still a pretty good one. Always nice to pull something of value from the old packs. Next pack, we got the DCR pack. Dark Crisis. Straight out of the tin. Let's go. Insect Queen, what can you bring us? We've got the Kelbeck. Battle Scarred. We got that. Despair from the Dark. Acrobat Monkey. And... Death Feral Imp. Okay, just the Death Feral Imp. We got the Dark Scorpion Chick and the Dice Reroll. On to Pharaonic Guardian. We had an incredible Pharaonic. Oh, that Pharaonic Guardian pack was amazing too. So we've had an we've had a re, that was a really good tin. We got a Democ and an insane Pharaonic Guardian pack, like possibly one of the best Pharaonic Guardian packs you can get. We've got a Deslacuda. Gravekeeper's Assailant. Dark Snake Syndrome. That's I mean, that is a syndrome right there. That does not look fun. We have that timidity. A secret rare lava golem! I said, we got one of the best packs you can possibly get. And, and it decided to one-up us a metamorphosis and a lava golem! You've got to be kidding me! This is a secret rare if you guys don't know. It's really hard to tell. Secret rare lava golem. I have never pulled this before. And this just brings back horrible memories from Duel Links. But look at it. Oh my goodness. He's got the little guy trapped in there. The lava golem's just like really scary. And I'm sure they're burning up and sweating in there. Wow. A secret rare pull. Oh my goodness. And then the best common in the set. Like a $10 common. Wow. Pharaonic Guard. Who would have thought Pharaonic Guardian would be one of the best sets today? That is insane. Okay. Okay. On a Magician's Force. Can't, you can't top that for sure. Definitely not. Right, Magician's Force? You can't top that. Dark Magician Girl. Here we go. Let's go. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I will die. I will die on camera <laughs> in a good way. Here we go. Second Goblin. Formation Unit. Freezing Beast. Can we not get the combination attack this time? We got the people running about. All right, they're running everywhere. They're excited because we just pulled DMG. Here we go. Ooh, YZ Tank Dragon. That's not bad. We'll take that super rare. That's pretty cool. Super rare YZ Tank Dragon. All right, this is uh, not bad. Not bad. A, a super rare from MFC. You don't see that too often. Well, just you don't see MFC too often. So we're taking anything we can get. That's awesome. We got a Metal Silver Armor and United Resistance. All right, the final pack from the Insect Queen 10. You guys are going to have to let me know what the best pulls are. I mean, it's going to be a tough. That that Insect Queen gave it a, the D-Mark a run for its money. A Secret Rare, Metamorphosis, YZ Tank Dragon so far. If we pull BLS, it might definitely take the lead. This will be the halfway point after this one. We will have opened 15 packs. We'll have three more 10s with 15 more packs, three more promos. I love doing these videos. This is so much fun. Uh, let me know in the comments, should we do 2006 10s, 2007 10s? Should we do all the 10s? Because right now we've done 2002 through 2005 after this. So this is pretty fun. Inferno. 2006, I'm a really big fan of because I loved Cyber Dragon Tens back in the day. Heart of the Underdog. We've got a DNA Transplant. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Cool. Animataza the Zapper. Okay, Terra King Salmon. The Skull Marked Ladybug. Recycle and a hero emerges. All right, that's it for the Insect Queen Ten. It was a pretty good one. Next up, Command Knight. Probably the second least favorite uh promo i know people do like this one though i don't know anybody that's like great shogun that is or <laughs> shogun whatever defense shogun whatever he's called nobody is a big fan of that guy i can't open this thing there we go this is very stretchy wrapping this time all right so yeah I, this is probably the second least favorite because i do like swift guy maybe swift guy could be down there i think swift guy is pretty cool though let's check this one out We've got, why is this one way up here? Is that a, is there an extra pack in here? Like, uh, like our, was it our DMG tin, I think? A long time ago. We've got the Command Knight, very minty looking. Okay, maybe a little bit of a ding in the middle. 
but overall pretty good pretty good it's a pretty good condition if you're a command knight fan sound off in the comments all right command knight all right let's get these packs out get the 10 out of the way and we will get into 10 number four look look down there guys remember the 2003 10s the promos rubbing up against that stuff Good job, good job, uh, Konami or whoever this was in 2004. Upper deck, I guess. We're into the second half of the opening, guys. Already been insane. Can it possibly get any better? Pharaonic Guardian, our best set. We'll have to save that one. Our best set is Pharaonic Guardian. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. We've got the Mystic Walk. It's a classic card. Emissary of the Oasis. Micro Ray. The Disc Fighter. Theban Nightmare. I remember that guy. Moki Moki is actually worth something. Moki Moki is... It's a solid card. I mean, just look at that card. It's very simple. You know, normal monster, one star. Let's read him. An Outcast Angel. Oh, poor guy. Nobody knows what he's thinking at all. Sometimes he gets mad, and that is dreadful. You don't want him to get mad. Nobody knows what he's thinking. Just look at him. Do you know what he's thinking? I sure don't. All right, on to the next pack. I haven't seen that guy in a while. I think the last time I pulled that, and it's been a very long time. I remember I pulled it in my very first Ancient Sanctuary box open. I've opened like four Ancient Sanctuary boxes now, first edition. And I definitely pulled it originally, and it's a short print, so I don't remember how many times we pulled it. But on to the next pack. This is Dark Crisis. We got a thousand needles. Shadow Knight Archfiend. Geldo. Pandemonium. And a wicked breaking Flamberg bow. All right. We got the battle footballer. Precious cards from beyond. Okay. Okay. Nothing crazy, but now we get to our best set. Pharaonic Guardian. <laughs> Where we pull all the fire. PGD. Seventh set in Yu-Gi-Oh! History. I believe came out in... I think this one came out in 2003, right? I think so. Right, Geki Break. Here we go. It's a pretty good card. Deslacuda. Gravekeeper's Assailant. Dark Snake Syndrome and Wing Sage Falcos. We finally didn't pull something crazy. How have we pulled three Metamorphoses out of four packs? Oh my goodness! Three Metamorphoses out of four Pharaonic Guardian packs. That's crazy, actually. These are expensive. Like, these are actually really expensive. That is awesome. Okay, Pharaonic Guardian, I see you. All right, we're on to Magician's Force. Here we go. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you are enjoying the video because we have more crazy openings like this in the future. That's how we do it. Let's pull Dark Magician Girl right here in honor of subscribing. <laughs> Hidden Book of Spell. We get the Royal Magical Library. Rare Gold Armor. Magical Merchant, not a bad card. That's pretty good. And... Z Metal Tank. We're pulling a lot of the uh, the old pieces of the the Union cards, I guess you could call them the original Union cards. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now we've got YZ and we've got the Z. So we just need the Y to make the YZ. Z Metal Tank. Okay, we're taking that. That's pretty good. And then we got our Magical Merchant. That's awesome. And the Old Vindictive. Okay, a pretty good pack. That'd be a pretty great pack for Go Format right there with the uh, Vindictive and the Magical Merchant. Final pack of the fourth ten, guys. Which one was this again? Command Knight? Alright, Command Knight hasn't been as good, but it's been pretty decent. We can't complain about it. With Metamorphs. A lot of good commons. A very strong common opening. Final pack. Invasion of Chaos. Blackluster Soldier. Envoy of the Beginning. We've already pulled the Democ in this video. What else can we possibly do? We've got the Burning Algae. We've got the Ojama Black. Okay, that's a good one. He's a little snotty. Somebody get him a uh, nose rag. we got a little ding on this card. Blasting the Ruins. Neobug. Another ding. Uh-oh. Don't be dinged if it's a foil, please. Black Tyranno! Another ultra rare from Invasion of Chaos! That's a really cool one. It's not super valuable, but, I mean, it's just so cool looking. It's just a black T-Rex. I mean, how do you not love that? That is a cool one. 2,600. That's pretty cool. And it can attack directly if they're on defense, so it's not too bad. And then we got the Chaos Sorcerer. That's really cool. And the Smashing Ground. Both pretty good comms. I'm going to pull those out just because they're pretty good cards. That turned out to be a pretty good 10. So uh, three out of four have been pretty good so far. So what are we going to finish? I think we finished with Blade Knight because that's one of the best promos. 
Let's go with Swift Gaia. That's a pretty cool one. I do enjoy the Swift Gaia. I think it's a pretty cool card. These are a little bit stretchy. Some of them are more stretchy than others. Swift Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull something big? All right. Fifth 10 of the opening. This has been incredible so far. I'm really loving this. Much better pulls than the 2003 for sure. 2000, 2002 was pretty hard to beat. We, we went crazy on that one. All right. Swift Guy, the Fierce Knight. What's it looking like? Ooh, this guy looks amazing. Does he not look really good? And the condition looks absolutely awesome on him. He might. Oh, never mind. Oh, a little ding. Let's see if we can go like this. A little ding on the corner. Front still looks good though, so it's like a back ding. So maybe it can it'll be good for a binder. That's our first one I think like that though. So it's not awful. Um, still a nice card. I'll take it. All right, let's get our packs out of the way. Last 10 packs. We have five here, and then we have five in the blade night 10. Let's get into it. It's been a crazy opening so far. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you had, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys who do that. Supporting the channel and all that stuff. Now let's pull some more fire for you guys. We've got a Mystic Walk yet again, starting off the pack. Emissary of the Oasis. Micro Ray. We've got a Disc Fighter. And Seal Master Misei. Okay, Monster Gate. Night Assailant. Good card. Endora of Fate. So a lot of good GOAT cards. A lot of good GOAT cards so far. I mean, this is really GOAT era right here. I mean, like right before it, so... That makes sense. Knight Assailant, that's a good one. Now let's go to DCR. DCR, the Dark Crisis. Can we pull Exodian Necros, Vampire Lord? We pulled that for the first time earlier this week. That was pretty fun. We've got the uh, the Nintendo Dogs, <laughs> Dark Scorpion, Arsenal Robber, Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong. And a Dark Scorpion combination. Okay, Maju. Incestus of Dogla. All right, slow start for this one, but our best pack, the Pharaonic Guardian, has shown up once again for the fifth time. We have pulled three Metamorphoses, an entire play set out of four packs so far. We've got the Nightmare Horse. Always, I mean, that is a Nightmare Horse. Very creepy. Very creepy. We've got the Trap Dust Shoot. Another good one. Gravekeeper's Curse. The Banner of Courage. An Agora Turtle. Okay, Disturbance Strategy. And Kyriel, okay. Probably our worst Verona Guardian pack yet, actually. No, maybe the first one. But still, we got a Trap Dust Shoot, which we may have gotten in the first pack. I can't remember. <laughs> Pretty good, though. Second to last, Magician's Force pack. Always fun to open Magician's Force. You just don't get to see it very often. Well, always fun unless you open a first edition box and pull nothing like I did. Check that video out. <laughs> still fun, but uh, hurt a lot. We've got a Magical Plant Mandragola. You know what would be awesome? Dark Paladin, because we get the alternate art. That would be crazy. Hidden Book of Spell. Royal Magical Library. Rare Gold Armor. It's the next one. Whew. Breaker the Magical Warrior. Oh my goodness. What an amazing pull. And he was upside down. One of the best ultra rares in the set. It's got a little bit of stuff on it, but this is definitely a card that you could just throw in the GOAT deck. Wow, our GOAT format deck, if we were playing like a sealed sort of thing here, our GOAT format deck would be fire right now. It would be fire. Breaker, the Magical Warrior. What an opening so far. What an opening. Unbelievable. And Roulette Barrel. This is awesome. This is awesome. This was our worst 10 until that. Now it's, you know, it's not, it's definitely not our worst. It's doing pretty good. Invasion of Chaos, second to last IOC pack. This is a crazy video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Fiend's Hand Mirror, let's get the Black Cluster Soldier. Make it just insane. Molten Zombie, we've got a Soul Tiger. Primal Seed, and... Mataza the Zapper again, we've gotten him twice. Energy Drain, another Chaos Sorcerer, we will take that. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, our sealed, our sealed uh, deck out of this would be crazy good. Chaos Sorcerer. We're on to the final 10. A Blade Knight 10. Yeah, perfect for our GOAT deck we're making out of these six 10s, which honestly would be pretty stinking good at what we pulled. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy open. 
Hopefully this promo is nice. We actually opened this one. I got this one when I was in uh, Dallas, which was pretty cool. We opened it up and I actually had a minty promo, which was awesome. Let's see if we can do that again. The final 10 of the opening. It's been a long video. Hope your popcorn tasted good. Hope your drinks you had were great. It's been a great time. Continue watching for the last 10. Here we go. We have got a Blade Knight. Very nice on the front. Corners, how are they looking? Wow, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome condition. We will take that. Very nice Blade Knight. Blade Knight's pretty expensive now these days. I mean, just all the copies of it because there's not too many of them. That is nice. Secret rare. All right, let's get the last set of packs out, guys. Last set of packs, and let's get this 10 out of the way. The last five packs of the opening, here we go. We have one more of each. Invasion of Chaos, Magician's Force, Pharaonic Guardian, Dark Crisis, and Ancient Sanctuary. It's been a great opening so far, guys. Enjoyable, epic, fun. I hope you guys have thought the same. I can't wait to get into these last five. Hopefully, we will end with another great 10 because we've had some pretty good ones. We have an Emissary of the Oasis. we got a Micro Ray. Disc Fighter. White Magician P Pikaru. And a Grave Protector. All right, Grave Protector. 2000 Defense. Protector of the Sanctuary. Another Protector. Protector of the Sanctuary. Okay. Ancient Sanctuary wasn't the best. Did we even pull a foil? I don't think we did. So it wasn't the best for us. But that's okay. On to Dark Crisis. We have done okay with Dark Crisis. Not, not our best one either, but let's see if we can end it with a good one here. Frozen Soul. The Staunch Defender. I mean, just a very cool artwork. I always love that one. Thousand Needles. And... Guardian Bow. All right, Guardian Bow. We only got one bad little scar, but still pretty cool. Three packs left. Our best pack, Pharaonic Guardian. Will it pull us something else crazy? We've had some pretty awesome luck in this video. Let's see if it can continue. Will we pull another Metamorphosis? It seems like we keep pulling them. Secret Pass to the Treasure. Dice Jar. That's a good one. That's a good one. Trap does shoot. Oh my goodness. Back to back good commons. Gravekeeper's Curse. And a Gravekeeper's Watcher. Will we get a Metamorphosis? No, but we did get two good commons right there, which is really awesome. Two more packs. I will have the total value at the end of what we pulled compared to our 2500 we spent. It's going to be like 100 bucks maybe. So it's just, it's all about the fun. It's about the uh, the video, you know, enjoying opening them, all that stuff. Let's get into it. Royal Magical Library, Last Magician's Force Pack. We got the Rare Gold Armor. Magical Merchant, good common. Neko Main King is actually, I think, a pretty decent one for GOAT format, like side decks and stuff. And a Tribute Doll. Okay, just a Tribute Doll and United Resistance. It's coming down to the final pack. Will it have the Blackluster Soldier inside? Final pack of the opening. We had some pretty awesome luck. We pulled Demok. We pulled Breaker. We pulled Secret Rare Lava Golem. We pulled Black Tyrant. We pulled a bunch of awesome commons. Will this be the pack with Blackluster Soldier Envoy the Beginning? Big Koala. Blazing Apache. Hit the like button for luck, guys. These are way OC commons. Zero Gravity. Witch Doctor of Chaos. Here we go. Final pack of the 30, of the 6 tens, 2004 tens, all opened in one video. A Sasuke Samurai number three. Okay. Overall, a great opening. Let's go over what we got. All right, so after 30 packs, six different tins, this is what we pulled. We pulled all six promos, obviously. Well, in 2002, it didn't work like that. We pulled two of the Summon Skulls, so check check out that craziness. But we pulled one, two, three, four, five, six Secret Rare promos. Obviously, those were all near mint, which is really awesome. Well, except for the little ding on the corner on one of them. Then for commons, we had a ton of great commons. One Neko Main, Dice Jar, Moki Moki, Vindictive, Smashing Ground, Night Assailant, Final Countdown, My Body, two Chaos Sorcerers, we got two Magical Merchants, and then we got a playset of Dust Shoot and a playset of Metamorphosis, so that Pharaonic Guardian was insane. Then we get to the rares, we had one good rare, a Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. Then we had only three Supers, which was interesting, Reaper on the Nightmare, YZ Tank Cannon, and a Z Metal Tank. So we got some, uh, just three Supers, so it's not too crazy. We got a Black Tyranno Ultra Rare, Break of the Magical Warrior Ultra Rare, and of course, the biggest hit of the video, Demok, Dark Magician of Chaos, and we got a Secret Rare, Lava Golem. So seven total foils out of 30 is 
not amazing, but we got very good quality out of what we actually pulled. So this was a really, really fun video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more epic openings. Next weekend, we're opening packs until we pull the start of Starlight. We've got epic PSA returns. We've got huge vintage box openings coming. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.